Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pager here, once again with another video on, well, The Flash Season 5 and just the rest of the Arrowverse, because we're talking about the crossover. So as we should all know by now, unless you have been living under a Dwayne Johnson for the past few months since the Arrowverse shows wrapped up their previous seasons, Batwoman was announced to be making her live-action debut in the next crossover event over the DC TV shows on The CW. Obviously, as you would expect, the reaction to this was pretty hype, as many thought that any, like, Bat Family characters, and just Gotham in general, was basically going to be a no-go for the CW shows. But seeing that Gotham on Fox is heading into supposedly its final season early next year, this would open up the door for the Batman TV rights, well, to head elsewhere and allow the CW to use some characters from that side of things on the Batwoman show where, or when, that eventually gets set up. And I guess also on the crossover for this season as well, seeing that the crossover will be set in Gotham City for the most part, which is going to be exciting. And then recently in, what, like the past two to three weeks or something like that, we had the announcement that Ruby Rose, a fellow Australian, had been cast in the role of of Kate Kane, aka Batwoman. This was seen as a pretty big pull for the show, as it is pretty rare, especially for a comic book TV show, to pull in an actress who is on the rise and get them to commit. But obviously she found the role so appealing that she was willing to take it on and commit to it, which is great for her and you have to give her kudos for that. And for those wondering when the crossover will start filming and when we should get like an official look at Ruby as uh, Batwoman, we should expect to see that within the next two months or so roughly, give or take a week or so. Arrow and Flash are roughly both on episode four of filming for their new seasons. Supergirl's filming is all over the joint, so it is hard to tell uh, what the hell is going on over there. The crossover will be in episode 9 for Supergirl, Flash and Arrow, with episode 8 of their season serving as their mid-season finales. This is a change-up from previous crossovers, uh, where they would usually be in episode 8, and then episode 9 would serve as their mid-season finales for the shows, but this most likely has been changed around to allow The Flash to have its own singular 100th episode, rather than have it in the crossover like Arrow did a couple of seasons back. This year's crossover, even though adding a new member in the form of Batwoman, will actually be smaller than any of the other crossovers from the past couple of seasons. It will be a bit bigger than that first initial one in Season 1 of Flash and Season 3 of Arrow, and it will probably be on par in regards to its size with the crossover that served as like a setup for Legend of Tomorrow. You know, the one where Vandal Savage was turned to dust, and they didn't really explain how he came back or anything like that. Yeah, that crossover. But anyway, Stephen Mell, you know, the bloke that plays Green Arrow, gave us a little bit of a tease in regards to the direction they will be going with in the crossover recently. And this is what he had to say. I can't say shit, but I do know that when it got pitched to me, when Greg Belanti pitched it to me, I was like, oh man, that's awesome, really. Because we went so big with the crossover last year, you can't go bigger, so you have to go more about the characters and the story. And I for one am happy that they are taking a bit of a backseat in regards to the spectacle side of the crossover. Sure, it is awesome to see all those heroes, all these heroes on screen fighting, like some over-the-top villain and all of that, just some over-the-top plot. Like, don't get me wrong. But sometimes, can you really top something that is already, well, pretty damn big? It's not an easy feat. And if they try to, they could and probably would just end up with one big mess in an attempt to outdo what they did with the Crisis on Earth X crossover, as well as even the Invasion crossover from the year before that. But throughout this video, we have mentioned Supergirl, Arrow, and Flash, but what about Legends of Tomorrow? Well, it was said early on that Legends wouldn't have an episode in the crossover, that it would just be Supergirl, Arrow, and Flash that have episodes. So this did have people like sort of confused whether there would be no Legends characters on the crossover or they just didn't feel the need for four episodes in the crossover. So they just carked Legends to short it up, uh, shorten it up. Well, we actually got some confirmation from Katie Lott who plays Sarah Lance in regards to that big question. And here is what she said. We're not in the crossover this year. Legends are not in them at all. So uh, yeah, that was pretty simple. But when it comes down to it, I don't think there will actually be that many characters in the crossover this year. I think we will be getting a very bare bones crossover, which I really like the sound of. I mean, we are going to be in Gotham City, we can't just have all these heroes diverging in on this city at one time. It definitely needs to be uh, a bit more subtle, and I'm sure they want Batwoman to, the be, to be the focus for the most part, just so a lot of people get a, lot of, like, a good taste of her and stuff like that. So really, I could just see Supergirl, Green Arrow, The Flash, and Batwoman being the only main characters. And then other characters from the other shows would have like very minor roles and parts. So like Felicity, Diggle, Cisco, Caitlin, Iris, Alex Danvers, and maybe someone like Guardian could have small roles. But we should get more of a hint at the, at the role of certain characters in the crossover when it begins filming. But we really haven't heard too much about the other actors, well, the main actors from the other Arrowverse shows around the Batwoman crossover, like what they think of it and stuff like that. 
Like Stephen Amell, who plays, as I said, Green Arrow has said some stuff. But apart from him, Melissa Benoist, who plays Supergirl, is the, I think the only one who's had something to say, and this is what she had to say. Throughout the seasons, Kara's had a few funny quips about Batman and her opinions on him. She thinks vigilantes are nuts. So I'm excited to see her meet Batwoman and see how they interact. Now, this has led many to once again bring up the debate that had people going back and forth earlier on, and that is, of course, what is the better ship, West Allen or Caramel? And of course, we will never know. But the other question it brought up was, of course, what Earth will Batwoman be on? Will she be on Earth 1 with Arrow, Flash, and Legends? Or will she be on Earth 38 with Supergirl? Well, if you're basing it on Batman existing before Batwoman, you'd have to give the nod over to Earth 38 as they decide to reference him whenever they bloody can. But for the sake of... Well, just being good, you would hope that Batwoman is set on Earth-1. There is suggestions that Batwoman will be rocking up in an Arrowverse show post-crossover, so, you know, after the crossover at some point this season, and I can only really see her showing up on Arrow. I don't think you would want to mix up her tone for the character, not people get, not, like, not let people get confused, and I think her showing up on Arrow again would be the right fit, seeing that their shows will roughly be the same in regards to that. But, as I said, there are only suggestions that she will be showing up again, and I guess that could all depend on the actress's schedule, as well as if they can fit another appearance on her, or of her, in that show, which I'm sure they could. Also, I don't think Arrow would mind the ratings boost it would get from having Batwoman in an episode or two of, you know, just their show. But as I said, it depends what Earth she's on. If she's on Earth 38, then obviously the only other option that she could show, or the, the only option for a show that she could show up on is of course Supergirl, and I guess they could make something work there, but for me, I prefer she's on Earth 1, and you know, Arrow is that show that she could, you know, interact with after the crossover. And the final thing I want to have a quick chat about is the fact that after the casting announcement was made, like a few days after, Ruby Rose actually left Twitter. So she deactivated her account. I'm all for people giving like their opinions and saying whether they liked or disliked a certain casting, like go for it, I do it all the time. Sure, I have an open mind most of the time, like I'm open to anything happening and certain things like that, but I will say whether I like something or not. But the way in which people had a go at her, some people just need, you know, to learn to behave. I couldn't believe some of the comments I saw directed at her about not being gay enough. I'm sorry, what? I can understand the accusations of her not being Jewish and all of that, like that's fair enough, but we get LGBT characters played by non-LGBT actors all the time, and the same with Jewish characters played by non-Jewish actors all the time. But I didn't see those same people in the comments section of those castings starting to, you know, trying to start World War 3 or something. Like, some people, man. Like, what's next? Like, the guy who plays Daredevil isn't blind enough? Is that going to start, like, another comment section Twitter travesty and just war? Like, what's next? But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome. If you could drop a like and it show your support. Let me know in the comments section down below your various opinions uh, on what I went over in this video. Are you excited for Batwoman in the crossover? And, uh, yeah, if you had to choose on Earth that she's going to be on, Earth 38 or Earth, or Earth 1. I think most people will say Earth 1, but I guess if you're a big Supergirl fan, you might be like, yeah, let's get another show on Earth 38 or something. So, yeah, just leave all of your opinions in the comment section down below. And, of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you later, guys. Goodbye. <laughs>